Hi, this is Alan from Hogdive and welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you on how you can control your computer from afar, basically remotely using only your mobile phone. So let me hop onto my desktop and to my mobile phone to show you exactly how you can do it. First thing that you can probably see right now is the application that we're going to be using. We're going to be using any desk to remote our computer using our phones. So how do we do that? First, let's download the AnyDesk Remote Desktop over to our smartphone, and let's also download it over on our computer. Again, this is all for free, so you don't have anything to worry about. So let me just lower that down real quick. And right now we are on the AnyDesk.com, the official website, and we can just click on Download Now. Let's download for Windows, since I am using a Windows machine. So let me just save that to my desktop. Once that is downloaded, I can just open it up, run. And then from here, you can either choose this, but since we want to have a quick access on our any desk or basically our computer, our main computer through our mobile phone without fiddling around, you know, like we just have instant access to it anytime that we want. What we want to do is install the any desk application. So we're going to do install. We're going to do install everything and then enable auto update on the main channel. And we're just going to click on accept and install. There you go. Now we have the actual AnyDesk application. The next thing that I'm going to ask you to do is create an account or log into an account. So as you can see right now, we have a button on the top right of the screen. It looks kind of like this. Click that and you just want to log in to your account. So let me log into mine. If you don't have one yet, you can click on register accounts. But for me, I'm going to do my own thing here. So I'll be right back. Now that that is good, we can now head over to my phone right here. Let me click on open. You can see my address, but that is fine. That is fine. So also on the computer, I finished signing in. So what I'm going to do here is get my phone. And on my phone, I'm going to type my address. So we're going to do the 1853725251. Cool. Now let's click on this arrow connection progress please wait now we're going to do a few things here we're going to go and click on profile we're going to go into an attendant access make sure that you are using the phone to do this thing your phone and not anyone's phone because we don't want other people to have access to our files and like that we just do accept and from there we can go ahead on our phone come back to it let me just go swipe 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 press exit there was a little bit of problem because apparently if I mirror my phone to my computer, then my computer cannot mirror on my phone. But now, as you can see, and I don't think you're going to be able to see it much, but that is basically desktop right now. And you can clearly see my two hands are right here on me and I can control my computer. I can pull this down. I can open up the remote. And here I can go ahead and type. And zoom in you can actually zoom in on your phone and then i can pull out the keyboard i can type whatever so let me just go ahead and click on that let me go to let me just pull that up and then let me do hawk dive hawk dive dot com um, there you go. Press on return. By technicality, we should now be on the Hawkdab website. And as you can see, we can head over to our gadgets. I think I did this one. Yep, I did. Cool. And then that's basically it. You can see it on my phone. It's actually zoomed in. I can pull it in if I need to zoom in and read something. But that is basically the gist of it. But now you're saying, hey, Alan, I can now do this, but what if I am not on home or nobody's at home and no one can click yes for me or click the unattended access for me using the computer, like physically, because you're away from your computer. You cannot do that yourself. Well, let's go back to the AnyDesk website application and let's just do this connect for now. Let me go back to the actual app right here. And from there, we're going to press on this four bars, top right, go to settings. And from there, we want to go to security. And from the security, 
we can go ahead and click on set password. Now let's do a set password. There you go. And then let's do a unattended access. Let's do apply and then allow other devices to save login token. Let's just do that. And then the permission profile. We just don't do anything because we already did the set password for the unattended access. So now if I go and click connect again over to my mobile phone, it should now technically ask me for a password, which it did. And now I'm going to type in the password that I've set to. I press enter. Now by technicality, I should be able to connect to it unattended access, which means I can also go and run my own thing here. Let's say I want to run this as an administrator, run as admin. I can press yes to that and it should still launch, which is so great because now if I need to pick up a quick file to on my computer, I can just go and send it over, over to my mobile phone or whatsoever. And it would just work because I can remotely use my mobile phone now as by technicality, a computer. So, um, that is basically it. I can just go ahead and now if I just want to disconnect and just go over and just swipe up and boom, I'm disconnected. I got to worry about, I want to connect, just press open again, press my desktop over here at the phone. And then I can just type in the password, skip the whole part up and then boom, I can control my desktop. And that is where I'm going to be ending this video. Again, this is Al from Hawktime. Hopefully you liked this video and if you did learn something from it, make sure to like this video, share it with your friends, go subscribe in this YouTube channel. Check us out over at hawkdad.com because we write what we post in this YouTube channel. We also write as a text form article just so people can easily back read, read whatsoever and have the in-depth links and information over to that website. But yeah, see you guys next time and have a nice day.